This is why I need a GoPro. I'm getting one soon. But just to get some, whatever it's called, POV shots. Or just like something where I can just stick the camera on top of whatever and just get shots like that. That's gonna be dope when I get one. Welcome back to a new video here today. We are going to be doing some tie dyeing for the screen printing of the Seahawks gear. So my goal today was to get my tie dye stuff ready to go because the sweatshirt should be here sometime today and get ready to tie dye them and you know tie you got to tie them up with the twine and tie dye them. But I came into my print shop slash garage is basically more of a screen printing shop than a garage nowadays and uh, half of a laundry room long time ago we had a rat situation this morning when I came in today they freaked me the heck out like I'm f afraid of rats completely afraid of them I seen one coming through where they came through last time I thought I got them all so I'm I don't know what to do. I gotta wait for my grandpa to get back here because he has poison. I'm gonna lay a bunch of poison down there and I have some leftover wood. I'm gonna patch that hole up and set some traps. But before we do all that, I don't even know if I'm gonna film all that because that's just all a hectic time. But we're gonna go to the store and I thought I had green tie-dye, but I don't. All I have is blue tie-dye and we're doing Seahawks stuff. So you need green and blue, blue and green. That's how it works. And I just need to know how these things look, my videos look, because I'm shooting, I usually shoot with just, you know, automatic mode on and just let it do its thing and color grade it in Final Cut. Now I'm shooting on manual mode. I'm still gonna grade it and color grade it and boost the contrast if I need to or dim the contrast if I need to just let me know how the footage is looking these days I'm terrified of going in there I hate rats altogether just don't like them that's when I knew like I seen the rat there's only one in here so far so I gotta fix this somehow I have to fix it I, m spiders don't mind me I mean I don't like spiders but they don't freak me out as much unless they're really big but other than that, they keep the flies and mosquitoes away, so I just leave them alone. But the rats, on the other hand, just kill them all. We got the box of sweatshirts, hoodies, whatever you want to call them. They're in this box. We're going to open up and check it out. what we're doing we got some rat poison up in here and then we got some traps laid out I got the doors open rats are scared of people even though that I'm scared of the rats they're not gonna bother me right now because they're out of here and we patched up the hole we put something in front of the hole so we, if I know that they're coming in and out of from that area where I think they're coming in out of but today screen printing we did it on the heat plastic all heat transfers now we got the hoodies and we're gonna tie dye the hoodies and I'm gonna go through the steps of how I tie dye because people tie dye completely different than other people. You know, there's different ways to the madness of getting this stuff done. All right, we filled the five gallon bucket up with water, halfway filled with water. This is what I do because if I fill it up too much when I put the sweatshirts in or the t-shirts in, they, it overflows, water goes everywhere. It's a big hassle but you want to take this soda ash in here and it says instructions are on here and you, you get this at your craft store your hobby store or whatever store you go to that's where I buy it just keeping it this is where I buy my stuff is at the craft store um, and you just dump it in here stir it up you have a stirring stick back there but you stir it up then you put your sweatshirt in here so I'm gonna put a I need to do a 2xl and an extra large so we're going to put a 2xl and an extra large in here so 
we put it in the bucket. We have to wait 20 minutes. So while waiting 20 minutes, here's a word from our sponsors. We soaked our garment in the solution. I went outside and I rang it out. So it doesn't need to be completely damp dry. Or it can't be drip dripping, it can be damp dry. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is how I do it. I take it and we're, it's, we're in a new shop. So this is a whole new space of doing this and this is old shirt boards that are warped come in handy for, good for something so I'm gonna take this right here at this peak grab it all right I forgot how hard and difficult it was to tie-dye or not tie-dye but tie up wet hoodies they're heavy didn't realize how heavy they are but now we just go ahead and go in for the tie-dye This video was out of control. I forgot how hard it was to tie-dye stuff. And it's like, I ran at, I forgot to buy more blue tie-dye. I ran at a green tie-dye and I got more green tie-dye, but I was looking through my tie-dye kit that I have. I have a bunch of different colors and I thought I had a blue packet and it was just the box. It wasn't the actual packet inside the, the tie-dye so what are we doing to go back to the store and buy blue tie-dye and buy some uh, green green tie-dye too because I got this the Kelly green but it don't look like the t Kelly green that I want the lime lime green looks more like the green that I'm going for so I gotta go buy two more packets worth of tie-dye I want to say thank you for watching thank you for liking and if you like these videos that's dope and if you want to subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel we do more than just tie-dye sweatshirts out here we do screen printing skateboarding and the website so I want to say thanks again for watching and stay tuned to new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs>